come down here, open up Safari, and go to Blue Letter Bible. Okay. New King James, and the verse is Psalm space 23. It's an easy search. We hit it, and it should bring it up, and it came up by verse. So the next thing we've got to do is we look, and we have the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let's look at the word shepherd. We take these tools. The Lord is my shepherd. This gives us the verb of ra'ah. And it's a strong 7462. If we look up 7462, it tells us the different translations that that word has been translated into in Scripture. So to look up that word, ra'ah, it means to pasture, tend, graze, feed, to shepherd of a ruler or teacher, of people as a flock, shepherd, herdsman. Now, all of these tools, you can come over to help right up here, and it will tell you the different tutorials that are available online. The app is a little different, but it's got an excellent help. But look at these different uses of that specific word. She bore again, this time as brother Abel. Abel was a keeper of sheep. He was a shepherd. <clears throat> the herdsmen, the shepherds of Abram's livestock and the shepherds of Lot's livestock. None of those are really helpful to us. His brothers went to feed the father's flock in Shechem still dealing with what a shepherd does. Here in Genesis, right as the Israelites were preparing to go into Egypt, we find out that shepherds is an occupation that is not thought very highly of by the Egyptians. And Jake, Joseph told Jacob and his brothers, when you go there, tell them what you are, and I will give you a place in Goshen. So your servant's occupation has been from livestock even till now. So even back then, God was separating the Israelites from the Egyptians based on occupation more than anything else. So as we go down, we continue to find shepherds that are doing different things. A certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day, and Doeg the chief of the herdsmen. He was also a shepherd. All of this can be found when you look up that word ruach. Now, let's back up a little bit. Let's go over here and look at uh, cross-references. Cross-references is the treasury of scripture knowledge, which is very handy at times. And in the treasury of scripture knowledge, he will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and gently lead those who are with young. 
Okay, this gives us a little bit more insight into what a shepherd does, which is important considering we just looked up Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Give ear up here in Isaiah probably. No, Psalm 81. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth. When we get to the New Testament, and we go down to, let's say, John, uh, here we go, here's Jesus speaking and identifying himself. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep, for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known by my own. Now, we just read in Psalm that God was a shepherd. This is another way that Jesus has identified who he is when he says, I am the name for God, and says, the good shepherd. Uh, Micah, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord. In the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Here's Jesus in John saying, I and my Father are one. So, as you look into this, the treasury of scripture knowledge that's available on Blue Letter Bible, you can find out many things. There's other things. Here's commentaries dictionaries, uh, miscellaneous. I can't look up all of these for each individual person that may be watching the, the live or the YouTube, but I can show you that these tools are available. You can compare the way that this verse is translated in all of these different texts. King James, I shall not, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd in the New Living Translation, I have all that I need. <clears throat> the New International Version, I lack nothing. So, this will provide a lot of different insight if you can use these tools and then meditate upon what they may mean. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you. I do want to mention that without a doubt Blue Letter Bible is supported by users and they can take PayPal, they can mail in, you can do whatever and I highly recommend that if you're using it, if you value it, great. Uh, go ahead and help them out. Now, like I gave you last week, there are other uh, online sources of scripture text. Let's go to Bible Gateway. Yeah, there we go. I'll let this thing help me get there. Okay. Now, each one of these, definitely Blue Letter, Bible Gateway, I believe also, will allow you to develop a reading plan or a study plan. Here's your Bible, your study, uh, different apps, the store. Uh, in this case, let's just type in where we were. Shepherd. Okay, and we can leave it there and just hit search. So, Psalm 23, first one that comes up right here. But then it goes to Genesis 20, 29. We don't have the story about Cain and Abel. So, you can see that each one of these has a different perspective on what it's doing. Here on the right hand side you've got a filter in the Old Testament and the New Testament how many different times it shows up. 
Let's look in Hebrews. What does it say about shepherd in Hebrews? It says, Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep. Okay, first Peter. For you were like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care. That's a definition of an under shepherd. Uh, pastors, chaplains, uh, those who are in the work of the Lord, whether it's occupational, whether it's a layman, uh, it is an under shepherd caring for people in the word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. Uh, okay, this is Bible Gateway. And let's see. Uh, let's try studylight.org. I've actually never been to this one. No, I don't want a membership. Okay. General Bible shirts. Let's try. That. Whole Bible. That's New American Standard. Here's all the different things that are available. Uh, let's try a new American standard in search. All right. <clears throat> this has given us almost as much as what Psalms did. It does look like it's got a lot of advertising in it. Here's more verses so you can look those up. Let's go to Psalm 23 and see what it does. Doesn't do anything. I'm trying to get there. Okay. So, here's concordances, dictionaries, encyclopedias, lexicons, uh, just wanted to give you an introduction of these different tools. So, thank you for watching.